How's it going guys? It's Crazy Blue here and welcome back to another how-to tutorial in Minecraft Monday. <coughs> so today guys, <coughs> I'm going to be showing you how to build something that's not redstone related. And you guys are going to have to bear with me here. Oh shit, I just broke something. <laughs> because I'm not the best at building. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a gazebo. I'm going to be showing you how to build this thing. I know it's not exactly the best looking, but I think it looks nice. <clears throat> so, the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is show you guys how to actually build it and the resources you'll need if you're going to build it in survival. I don't know why you'd want to build this thing in survival, because you're going to be there for a while getting your resources together. <clears throat> but hey, they each their own, right? <clears throat> so I have it saved in my phone, because I counted all this up just for you guys. You're going to need 20 oak wood logs, 88 spruce wood stairs, 3 jungle wood stairs, 68 jungle wood slabs, 25 jungle wood fence posts, and 12 acacia wood slabs. And you're also going to need a 9x8 grid to build it all. You guys can have it wherever you want. I'm going to put mine in the desert. <clears throat> so as you guys can see here, I dug out my... um. A little 9 by 8 grid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fill this block in. And we're going to start off with our pillars. This is going to be where your logs come in. You're going to take your logs. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> straight up. Go here. Fill in the corner once again. You're going to go 1, 2. Whoops. 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> and like I just said, I just gave you guys the resources for... um survival but i'm going to be building this in creative because it's much easier to do it while flying so then you have the five pillars and then just go here and i'm gonna have to cut this out hold on two three four five six seven eight and then replace this block one two three four five so <clears throat> what i did next was the stairs or the roof. This is where your spruce wood stairs are going to come in. You want to place your stairs like, give me a minute, like so. You want to start by placing one on each of the pillars, like this. And then, you're not going to do an overhang unless you want to have an overhang, then you can do an overhang. I personally think it looks better without an overhang, and that's how I did the one over there without the overhang. And then, you were just going to go around like this, and this is going to take you quite a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the first layer, and then what to do when you need to move on to the next layer, if you guys don't already know how to do this. Because this is pretty much a simple design. Um, and then I'm going to speed it up for you guys. <clears throat> So once you're here, it might be a bit difficult for you to um, actually get to where you're going. So you might want to have another block that's not affected by gravity. Just to sit down, place your stair on top of, and then break it. <laughs> and then you just go around again, and you continue doing that until you reach the top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed it up for you guys. That way you guys don't have to sit through me doing this. <laughs> done probably one of the most difficult parts as you can see right here and uh, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fill all of this back in I no longer need the grid really all the grid was for was to let me know where I was putting my pillars at <clears throat> so boom you now have the roof now you might be wondering what I did next well assemble next I did the stairs I'm actually going to look at this real quick because I don't remember how far out it was um, one two okay <clears throat> So you're going to find your logs, you want to find your midway point, if you guys did it the way I did, where it's 9, you will have one midway point right in the middle, you're going to want to expand it one if you're not okay with that, but what you're going to do is you want to come out two blocks, <clears throat> and place your stair. Then what I did is make sure you look at the top part of this block, so the stair goes upside down, and then place another stair on it. <clears throat> Here you're going to just uh, 
lob in your slabs. Make sure you aim on the tops of those pillars when you place your slabs down because your slabs do need to go here as well. They need to go in between your pillars. And it doesn't matter what order you do this in. It doesn't matter if you do the pillars first or however you do it um, because it's all going to turn out the same way. But that's just common sense. So we just want to fill all this in real quick. <clears throat> this is going to be your uh, your flooring. You can really use any kind of wood that you want, but I'm just showing you guys how to build the one that I have set over there. Because that's the one I showed you, so I figured obviously people are going to want to know how to build that one. So you're now done your floor. You walk up, and boom. You're in your, uh, you're in your little gazebo. So then what you want to do is you want to take your fence post, and you want to go around. Obviously leave the block open where the stairs are. And just go around the outsides where the pillars are. And boom, there's your fences. Now, you're not done. This is just a little added feature that I like to uh, put in, but you guys don't have to do this. So you look in your corner. You place an acacia slab in each corner. And you do that for every layer. And then... Again, right here. So then, as you can see, this is an exact replica of the one right here. And pretty much what the Acacia Slabs just do is it gives it that little extra bit of design. So then you can sit here and you can just admire the view. So there you go, guys. That is how you build a gazebo in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this short little tutorial, and I uh, hope you guys get use out of this. But that's going to do it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.